My name is Eric Nguyen. Um, I'm a master's candidate in education leadership with the Clean Steam program at Teachers College, Columbia University. Um, I come here from Boston, Massachusetts, where I taught for three years at Noble and Greeno School, and I'll be returning to that school this fall. I, I actually didn't know a whole lot about the Clean Steam Center and the program before I arrived here, other than that it had a really great reputation for its work with independent schools. I had some reservations about what a degree in leadership could actually provide me, and there was a large part of me that wanted to remain in schools, and I figured I could learn more on the job than I could in classes, and, and I didn't really see leadership as something that could be taught academically. But after completing this year, I certainly found myself um, really happy with the decision to come here. I just gained exposure to a lot of different ideas about work in schools and outside of schools. And I really did see that leadership is something that we can approach um, from, from a framework point of view where we can actually think about how does leadership work and how does one create change in schools. Uh, the conversations and the discussions I had, the exposure I had to other people in this program who come from all walks of life and lots of different experience, and then just the immense experience that the professors bring to the classroom. I just I learned a lot and, and really look back on my decision to come here with, um, with a lot of satisfaction. In terms of classes and, and memorable experiences, I think one of the things that was most powerful for me were the various school visits that we did with Professor Kane in the fall. Um, she did a remarkable job of exposing us to the various resources of the city. And we had the opportunity to visit a Catholic school in the city, an independent school, a public school. And it was through those experiences that we began to talk about where independent schools fit into the larger realm of education. And for me, those were really eye-opening experiences because I could then think about how do different schools approach education and how do we draw from the, the great work that all of these different institutions are doing. Sure, my internship this spring was actually at a brand new charter school over in Brooklyn and it was started by a few alumni of the Klingenstein Center. And it was just a really great opportunity for me to contribute to a program that was just really starting off my supervisor there was really thoughtful in creating some projects for me that spoke to my own interests, which are curriculum development and service learning primarily. And so I had the opportunity to develop a, an eight-week curriculum for their advisory program in which we used Three Cups of Tea by Greg Mortensen as a focal point for discussion about service, about identifying needs in communities, creating vision and taking action and using that to help the students understand their own place in the community and the project actually culminates in their participating in a day of service as well. The, the concrete skills I take out of this program have a lot to do with more of an awareness of my own tendencies, my own predispositions in terms of how I approach people and approach problems. Um, one of the main topics we focused on this spring in terms of leadership were frameworks for examining issues that arise. And, and the four frameworks were the structural, political, human resources, and symbolic. And one of the things I realized that was that I have a tendency to, especially when I'm focused on work, is to look at structural. And I, and I tend to ignore the, the human side of things. And, and having more of an awareness now of not only the various frameworks, but my own tendencies will help me step back and look at the bigger picture as, as I go into um, future work in leadership. I think the program changes me as a leader because it has really exposed me to the, the whole world of the school. I think before coming here, my experience was primarily in the classroom and some admissions. And I think to be a good leader in a school, it really involves understanding how all of the pieces of the school work. And so we had courses in finance and resource allocation. We had courses in ethical decision making, where we studied a lot of case studies and actually thought about how would we react in, in such a situation if we were in a position to make the decisions. Um, 
we talked about admissions and financial aid. We talked about um, how to deal with parents and how to educate faculty. And, and having that makes me approach um, leadership and change in schools with, with a better understanding of how ideas impact lots of people. I think before this, I was very closed-minded and very narrow thinking about who my decisions would affect and, and how it would affect them without really thinking about the ways other people may tangentially be touched as well. And, and this program has really opened those doors for me. I see two large issues in independent school education today. The first is the idea of making our schools as inclusive as possible and as accessible as possible to the entire range of, of people that we have in this country. I think um, one has to do with the, just the rising tuition costs of the schools and the fact that tuition often grows at a much faster rate than inflation does. It's making our independent schools less and less affordable um, to a greater proportion or a greater segment of our population. And I think that's something that independent schools need to examine. In addition to, to the inclusivity and the accessibility for students, I think we also see the same challenges in the faculty and that independent schools need to think harder about how to recruit and retain faculty that represent the student body that these schools hope to have as well. So I see that as one issue, just the creation of these communities of learners um, that, that are much more inclusive and, and representative of our, of our population. The other challenge I see is for independent schools to think about how they contribute to the larger community. I think independent schools have tremendous resources at their disposal. And so there's a great responsibility that comes with that to think about what are we doing in our immediate communities, but also in the larger national, international community to use those resources to, to create change and to make a positive impact in the world. And so I see schools as being a great place to help educate our students and to make them more aware that they're not just citizens and members of a school community, but of a much larger community as well. The core experience is probably one of the most valuable um, things I take out of this program. I'm surrounded by 31 immensely talented, energetic, enthusiastic people who come from all over the country from lots of different types of schools, large, small, religious, and secular. And they, you know, one person was a former head of school and, 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 and has been in schools for a very long time. Others have only three to five years of experience. But what it does is it brings together a large group of people who are just really interested and excited about schools and about how to make them better. And that, in, in and of itself, provides the necessary ingredients for really thoughtful discussions that certainly will influence the way I think about my own leadership as I move forward. Because I certainly have my own ideas, but they're not necessarily always the best ideas, or they're not necessarily the most well thought out ideas. But through these conversations with the people in the cohort, um, they've definitely taken shape and, and grown. The most rewarding aspect of the program for me, I think, was to was gaining a better awareness of, of who I am. I think that's one of the things that we didn't necessarily tackle directly, but because of the conversations, because of the people who are there with me helping me grow, and I think because of the way the program was thoughtfully designed to incorporate topics of leadership and of education, and, and there was some personal development involved as well, um, I leave the program with a better sense of who I am, of what's important to me, about why I am in education and what I value most about it in terms of um, you know, creating uh, communities of learners, about um, access and inclusivity, and about the, the ways in which education can really help shape um, communities in terms of democracy, 
in terms of equality and justice. My aspirations in independent schools um, certainly don't take me too far away from the classroom. I love being around kids and I love teaching and I love being in the classroom so much that I don't want to lose that piece. Uh, but I do aspire to division headship within schools, so a head of middle school or a head of upper school position is something I'm really interested in. And I'm also interested in curriculum development, so a dean of academics or dean of curriculum would also be um, something I'm really interested in. And I think you know, those positions would really allow me to continue working with students, but also to help shape the way the school works and to shape the values of the school. And so those interests I have in interdisciplinary learning, the interests I have in service learning and in global leadership, I think those are the kinds of things I might be able to infuse in a school from a leadership perspective. To people who are considering the program, I would really say that this is a valuable program for, for anyone who works in schools. I actually don't think it's you know, beneficial for just people who are considering leadership. I think it, for anyone who's interested in becoming a better educator and in making our schools better, whether it's at the classroom level or from a, from a higher administrative level, this program really helps you think about the big picture. And we cover a wide range of, of topics from the, the minutia of curriculum and pedagogy to the democratic ideal and what schools historically were created to do. And I think having that, that range of, of um, exposure and conversations makes anybody um, a, better, a better teacher, a better leader. And I would also say that you know, for someone who is in an independent school, a lot of the ideas that we talked about this year and studied are as applicable to work in public schools as they are in private schools as well. I think being in New York City and being at Columbia University makes the Klingenstein program that much more rich of an experience because of the resources that we have here. Um, not only did our coursework take advantage of being in the city and visiting um, schools in the city, but we also visited Google and Whole Foods as two examples of places that have strong missions and unique cultures. Um, we were also able to take advantage of the, the social atmosphere that New York City offers as well. And so some of the program sponsored trips to the Culinary Institute, um, to the Lincoln Center, and then on the other end of it, just being at a large university has its own resources as well. I attended a lot of lectures this year, which um, I don't always get the opportunity to do back home. Um, I really enjoyed that piece of it. Um, yeah, I, I would say that, um, th that the city just has a lot of resources and the Klingenstein program has been able to take advantage of those.